Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to your mid-January to the beginning of February read for this current fucking year. Hell yes. Sag and cross watchers, this is for Sagittarius sign, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please check your charts. Resonates with you? Awesome. If not, don't worry about it. You just boop your nose, away it goes. There's no point worrying about shit that ain't about you, nor any of your business. Right? Right. You want a personal? Info's down in the description box below. Anyway, Sagittarius, I, I, I'm I, doing a new spread and it actually helps me figure out what I'm going to title my videos. Um, so just so you know, um, any dumpster has the potential to be a dumpster fire. And I'm saying that because usually a dumpster fire is just a disaster. And I feel like every relationship, no matter what kind it is, between parents, between lovers, between friends, between siblings, between relatives, between co-workers, between constituents, between authorities and those who are under your authority, employees, employers, those of the state, any of it all, it's all dumpsters. They're all just places where people dump their shit, right? But any of them have the potential to be even worse than what they actually are. And Sag, I feel like you're kind of making everything into a dumpster fire in your head before it actually gets caught. Like, you know, if you think it has the potential to catch on fire, for some reason you go to Rite Aid and buy like a shit ton of kerosene every chance you get. And it's just like, well, at least you're trying to be helpful in this situation. But, you know, I don't, I don't think this is the right route, you know? That could be you, Sagittarius, or it's somebody you're dealing with, but, uh... Someone keeps looking at relationships, I feel like, especially on the obstacle and challenge, as if, um... They're always a problem. And I'm not sure what that is. Or what that means, anyway. Um, it's kind of strange. But this is a new layout I'm doing for the year, so don't mind it. It's actually a little bit better. To have it spread out like this because I can actually like title this a little bit more appropriately instead of having to listen to the entire video. I can just look this over and be like, oh, we're going with this, okay. And you already got a book, so look at right there's a new chapter starting, everyone's getting one, it's a new decade, right? But there might be a mistress involved here who's got some shit to say and say it quickly. Not letting you catch a break when it comes to a relationships of sorts or even a choice. Um, easily turning their back to all this situation because they don't feel like there's it, it, whatever they're waiting for isn't worth it. Exerting some strength and being willing to kick some ass at some point. So, you know, we got that going for us, right? Mmm. Interesting. So anyway, oh yeah, I should probably tell you what these all are. All right, so Sagittarius, right now you have on um, the Princess of Cups right here, right? She's all nettled in her emotions. She doesn't feel like she can heal after getting hurt in order to move forward from the past situations, you know? But down below, this indecision is actually the Two of Swords based on a fucking lie. The cake's a lie. Don't eat the cake. There is no cake, but there is a fiery place down below. Like a dumpster fire, you know, one of those things, right? I'm not saying that you guys are intentionally doing this either, or anybody. This could be somebody you're dealing with as well who might not even be knowing that they're doing this. But this is like someone who's terrified to fall in love or some shit. What well, you know, I right, Capricorn, I can understand that completely. Like, you know, love is a vulnerability. But this is like to an extreme, I think. The wants and wishes is a secret. Possibly with the Pisces, possibly with the Cancer. Who knows? The moon came out earlier too with that mistress card. First it got secrets and it's about a decision to be made, right? But however, the obstacle and challenge with well, this two of cups that you hear is being left out in the cold by. Like if there's a relationship, you're gonna feel pretty chilly. It's not gonna be as whatever you think it is or whatnot, right? Right. This Six of Swords and the Fears of Rejection. Someone's afraid somebody's already moved on and rather quickly. And then we have the Queen of Cups down here once again. Could be a, definitely a water sign you're handling and dealing with, right? Um, she's very much in her power, very intuitive, very much in love. And once again, choices, my dear. The water sign has a choice. Whoever this is, I don't know. But that's why I, it's kind of like, man, this is like fucking awkward. It feels awkward. 
Anyway, let's begin with y'all. Shall we? We shall. So let's see, Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. Yeah, this like if someone can heal from the past in order to move on. And they and, and they kind of keep those feelings in the dark, but at the same time, it's man, it's it's coming up pretty not like it's it's coming up pretty nasty, you know. But they don't want to, but they don't want to establish control for themselves, or they're not trying to attempt to anyway. Which is, yeah, that's like I was saying, it's like someone's been burnt out too much to the point where, like, they don't want to take control, almost, of their emotions. But they ain't trying to handle them any more than what they have been. It's just like, you know what, I've been swinging the stick around for 30-some-odd, 40-some-odd years, and, I, and I've made it this long, I'm just going to keep swinging because the formula ain't failed me yet. You know, that's pretty much life, you know. With the situation anywhere, the indecision and the Ace of Swords both reverse. You know, if someone keeps choosing buddies that end up ending the relationships or causing relationships to break up. So it's not like you're not sure. It could be like somebody who already decided. I'm not trying to be dick here. It's not that it's the indecision of whether you want to be in love or not. That's the issue, because that's not really the case with the Two of Swords. The case of the Two of Swords is, um, why you keep picking Bettys that you always break up with? Like, stop dating your type, I guess, you know? Venture forth. There might be something that might be getting dragged out of you to respond to someone. To, you know, it's kind of like, you know, it's like you have that one friend who keeps getting in relationships with cheaters. And then you're like, why do you keep getting in a relationship with people when they're obviously cheaters? And they're just like, well, I don't know until they get with me. And you're a person who's like, dude, I can see that they're doing that shit from a mile away. What are you talking about? Like, he literally cheated with you on the chick he, he was cheating with, you know? Like, you know, hey, hey, hey. it's like the person doesn't see that maybe they play a part in it or whatnot. The wants and wishes, right? This full moon the secret about the decision is not uh, the package that would be delivered is not good it's an r kelly package not an amazon package and it really doesn't aspire to give anything else you know like whatever would be given it wouldn't be good enough and down below in this uh obstacles and challenge where the two of cups leads to someone feeling like they're being left out in the cold. That relationship might come to light and, real, and someone might realize there's nobody that's really fighting for or with them. No comrades, no adversaries, no nothing. They're just by themselves. And the relationship brought that to light to them somehow. But that's part of the obstacle and challenge. Six of swords with the eight of wands. Someone might have moved on quickly and someone's afraid of that, right? But... Sorry that took so long. You're fine, baby. I get in a little road rage session and follow some bitch all the way to her house. So, I couldn't believe it turned out to be an old lady with gray hair. Like, I was about to fight somebody until I seen who it was. And then it was like, never mind. I'm recording, and I don't want to, like, you know, have you... What's up, YouTube? I don't want you to, like, you know, go to jail because people find out you chase old ladies. So, give me a second. Well... I know, it's an exciting story and you're ready. Yeah. Let Sagittarius have their time. I'm almost done. I'm <laughs> done. I'm sorry. My husband is going to tell me an awesome story and I will let you guys know exactly what happens once we get there. Because it's interesting. But let's see. Yeah, but somebody's wasting time on this and they're not letting the burden go. It's like... Mm. Here, hold on. Alright, I am about to sag. Okay, so let us get back to your one thing, right? So anyway, sorry I had to pause that. My husband had to tell me about his adventure. Anyway, well, I wanted to hear it too because it was like really exciting anyway. So, you know, it was important. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, someone's like all worried because someone might have moved on in a hurry. But that's just like keeping them in place because it's like making the burden last that longer. It's like, oh, they moved on without me. They really didn't care. And it's like, why do you care? Ugh. 
This Queen of Cups right here made a decision, right? How this shit starts, how it'll end, to get on a boat and leave shit behind. Because she was bored, it was making her dramatic, and she just does not want to deal with the energy anymore. This person's losing their grounding, and Sagittarius, it's almost like you can feel it either within yourself or with the person you've been dealing with, right? Right. So, oof. Got a book real quick. Yeah, it's kind of hard for you to let this shit go, especially when it meant something to you. It feels like somebody took something that they shouldn't have, whether they knew it or not. You're trying to figure out how to be gentle with this person, but they make you want to drink and be drugged into town by your horse. It feels like there are forces playing against you, and like no matter what, someone's always going to leave you to drown. Or you'd be doing that to somebody else, one of the two. You know, it doesn't really matter. Alrighty, so let us continue. So, no, 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 no. Anyway, um, Uvaha and the energy. Yeah, it feels like a lot of stagnation. Like you got a monkey on your back. And that monkey on your back keeps you from performing the way you want to. Yeah, it's like, it's like not handling how you feel. And just try to, to like not deal with it is not helping. It's like keeping you in place. Especially if you're not trying to move on, you know? Situation. There are a lot of options. You just gotta understand that the emotions are just a wee little bit. Wee little bit. Might even be an option with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they might not feel exactly the same as you do, either. Hmm. Wants and wishes someone's kind of trying to be a sneak with all of this, like, you know, giving shitty packages where stuff doesn't actually happen or ruins it. They're about to fall into their own little trap. However, I, I, like these are two different people, right? This person's going to chip over your own toes, but at the same time, they're paying attention to the person right here who's actually quite happy being by themselves. But it's like, is this you guys? Sag and Cross Watchers? Who... You don't notice when you fall in the trap, so that's why you always feel like you're happier being by yourself. Let's see. I don't know, maybe somebody makes you feel like he has to be sneaky in order to be happy because you like being by yourself. You know, you love your friends and family, but you, you lose your shit when they ask for more of your time. You know? Because it's just like, I have shit to do. And there they all go. Yes, they do. Well, I got a book here and one singular card. So let's see. Obstacles and challenges right here. This relationship making it clear that nobody's fighting for nothing. It's like someone should have listened to people, but they weren't listening to people. You know, here's you again, Sagittarius, trying to be gentle as shit. Um, looking to make friends. You know, maybe even being willing to, like, put your... Carry their swords in place of your own. But now you're all bitter and shit. Because it worked, but you ended up being the one delivering shit. Slowly but surely. You didn't listen, and now it feels like you're stuck in the middle of something you can't really escape. Ouch. Well, yeah. Oh, hello. Uh, not the best wish to come true. Not with a greedy bitch like this one. And feeling like a servant to a person. You're not too fond of that shit, I will say. Imagine. Cross watches a lake. Alright, so. The fears and rejections were, you know, you're kind of hanging around on something that, uh, you know, isn't really helping you move on yourself. All because, like, you feel like something was taken. Hmm. Are you jealous? Like someone who took something a while ago, 
In much younger days, it's going to end up better and happier, and you might end up working for them because you ended up with a job at McDonald's or something. Is that what this is? Because this is almost like, a, almost like jealousy. A little bit. It's like you're almost mad that they got their wish, but you didn't, and they got to take something from you in order to get there. No, you needed that one pentacle, and they took it and, and like, did something more with it. They're almost like you. But it's like, what the fuck, you know? Down here, how the shit starts, how it'll end. Yeah, Sad, you're going to have a hard time letting this go. Or they will. One of the two. Jesus Christ. Cards fly for you today. You know. At the same time, some games were played... That causes the person that originally walked away from these games to go away. But eventually, the person who played the games is going to be like, meh. It's whatever. I really didn't care anyway. Yeah. A dumpster always has the potential to become a dumpster fire. Do not light the match. Whatever the fuck that means. I have no idea what I'm talking about. But anyway, um, that's the end of your reading, Sagittarius. So I hope this helps you out. Um, if you enjoyed this, like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. It's up to you, really. No pressure, of course. I'll see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.